Energy is a very powerful business. Electricity, gas, nuclear energy, all sophisticated and scientifically complicated forms of power. Modern day living would be unimaginable without them. We use oil and oil products, natural gas, nuclear energy and hydroelectric energy. To make all of this work requires a lot of heat. The heat comes from solar and geothermal sources, as well as wind and ocean currents. But the technology and nature are not reliable 100% of the time. There are no guarantees. Energy is a very powerful business and a very dangerous business. The Earth is rich in resources and answers. Borax is a plentiful resource that is easily found with concentrated abundance in California, Nevada, and New Mexico. Globally, drilling for oil or natural gas is risky. You have to hope you find its exact location. You have to hope nothing goes wrong. Alternatively, borax derivatives store hydrogen. Borax is very easy to transport, and since borax is already in the United States, dealing with other countries does not add extra layers to securing it. Borax is also very inexpensive and can be used over and over again. One ton of borax equates to approximately 172 barrels of oil. One ton of borax costs approximately $420 while 172 barrels of oil costs approximately $12,900. Most importantly, borax can be changed into hydrogen. Burning hydrogen is the cleanest fuel there is. Hydrogen, a highly flammable diatomic gas, can be used for all heating needs. It is non-metallic, colorless, odorless, the simplest and lightest of all the elements. Harnessing hydrogen power is a powerful concept for the future. To date, a fuel cell is expensive to make, about $20,000 per kilowatt. They are also complicated to construct. However, the hydrogen fuel cell is relatively simple to make. It does not require platinum, which brings the cost down to approximately $250 per kilowatt. The small bubbles that you are seeing are hydrogen gas being made by a borax product and water. The gas is being funneled up into this gauge, which shows about 10 pounds, then into a plastic tube, which feeds a fuel cell. The fuel cell makes electricity that turns this propeller to show an aircraft application. Another application is the automobile represented by this tire rotating. So how can the perfect lab experiment be brought home and become part of everyday life? Actually, the very same way energy is received now. The infrastructure already exists via oil tankers and oil pipeline systems. Transportation stays the same. Content is the only change. Hydrogen will replace oil and natural gas. Nuclear plants can be converted to hydrogen plants as well. The auto industry will be transformed, as a hydrogen canister could potentially replace the gas tank. Cars will be efficient and harmless to the environment. There is no intent to destroy the oil industry. Oil has hundreds of uses besides functioning as fuel. Change will spawn new sources of supply and demand. Ultimately, energy derived from hydrogen will create two very important byproducts, savings and safety abundantly. If borax costs pennies, is safe and 100% reliable, can be used multiple times and can be harnessed simply, then energy becomes a radically better business for everyone. It's a clean choice, a revolutionary choice. My system, everything is in place and simple. And it's an opportunity for, for companies to see that this new technology can be condensed into something very, very small, higher energy density than batteries, longer lasting, easier to use, safe, environmentally friendly, non-toxic, 
What more could you ask for? I mean, what other product that we have in this country that we can do that with? I don't know of any. I've been trying to find alternative fuels for years, trying to search and find a way to turn something that we have a lot of into fuel. Like they've tried corn. And the problem with corn is it takes food away from other people. So the farmers grow the corn to turn into ethanol, which has the same problems as gasoline. You still have to put it in a tank and burn it, and it's still making the same pollutants or, or in some cases worse. But if you use the hydrogen made from a borax product, you're back to a zero carbon footprint. You're back to not polluting, not worrying about oil spills, not worrying about cleanups, not worrying about oil wells that are exploded and all that that we have to do with every day. Every day we hear this on the news. So what's the answer? Well, the answer is to find something that's in this country that's in abundance, that's easy to do, simple to use, that's harmless, that's, that's good for everybody, that can power up anything they need to have in a simple, low-cost way. Now, I have three patents that do that, and there's six more pending. So the technology is expanding. It's an opportunity for a company who sees the future. It's not going to be in oil, although we'll use oil for a lubricant forever. There's no replacing that that I can see. But we need a fuel that is replaceable. And everybody knows that now, and it's becoming almost mainline in everything we say and do. And hopefully this is the fuel that we'll have to do that. And it's, again, mined in the United States. And we have the most abundant amount of it in, in Death Valley, uh, where U.S. Borax has been mining this stuff for 200 years. And it's been around forever. However, with these new patents, it shows that we can take something that's been here for a long time, been tried over and over to make use in different ways that didn't work very well, and now we have a new technology that looks at this particular mineral in a different way, and we use that in a very small, condensed method so we can power up things and take up half the space that we're using now with conventional hydrogen. And I think that's the biggest benefit of the whole technology.